Here's where we're going to have something analogous to Photosystem 2. In Photosystem 2, light struck P680. In Photosystem 1, light strikes P700. The same thing we saw and talked about in the other video for charge separation. If you want more detail on this for P700, go back and watch this video in the context of P680. It is the same thing. However, there's one key difference that you need to understand. When P700 goes up in energy, it's still going to donate an electron in the excited state to an electron acceptor. All right? You're still going to have an electron hole that needs electrons to fill it just like in P680 over here. But there's one key difference that's very important. What filled the electron hole in P680 from Photosystem 2? It was the oxygen evolving complex. It split water and gave the electrons to P680 to fill the electron hole. But we have an electron hole in P700 once we donate the electron to these acceptors. So what fills the hole in Photosystem 1's P700? A good question would be true or false, it's the oxygen evolving complex, and the answer is false. It's plastocyanin. Remember, plastocyanin took those electrons from the cytochrome B6F complex, and its function, plastocyanin, is to fill the electron holes produced by P700 excitation and subsequent electron transfer. All right? And we're just going to more or less gloss over these electron acceptors and donors, all these unidirectional electron flow. But suffice it to say, suffice it to say, these electrons are going to travel to a modified chlorophyll A called A0 or A0, and then to phyloquinone, and then to an iron sulfur protein, and then to ferredoxin. And ultimately, those electrons from ferredoxin are going to go on to NADP+.